You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Wicked Cool Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and today I'm going to check out the Extreme Cycle. This is the Moto Cam version. There is a camera inside. I do want to say thanks to Wicked Cool Toys for sending this to check out on video. And yes, I have the camera at a weird angle, so there's no reflections inside the box, so it's pretty big. There is my hand. It's probably three times the size as the first one we did check out, and that video will be in the description as a link. This one does have a ramp. Let's see, RC camera control, ages eight plus, gyro stabilizer for extreme stunts, land safe suspension. Hmm, let's see, let's just take a look at the back. Maybe we'll learn more about the camera. Okay, so it records here. Now I can come up a little bit and push this back just slightly. At 30 FPS, 640 by 40 VGA resolution, there is a 4 gigabyte micro SD card included, all right? Okay, so the radio control is 100 foot range. There is the gyro stabilizer, rapid 60 acceleration, land safe suspension. Hmm, what does that mean, custom decals? So will I have to put decals, it says hook up your bike? I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to have to find out. And the next thing I need to do is actually get it out of the box. So it looks like batteries, uh, USB cord, and micro SD card included. All right. So it looks like I am ready to go. Let me get this out of the box. You'll see now there is weird reflections on it. See this right here? And then uh, we'll check it out. All right. Just going through all the pieces now. I have the ramp stuff isolated. My sticker sheet my batteries, and then this little pack of stuff. It looks like to be a USB. Okay, time to get the scissors out for that. My batteries, okay. The USB cable, this looks like the little flash guard. So you can plug that right into your computer, which I will have to do. And then let's see, it said batteries go in here, so let's get the main battery pack because to charge it I'm gonna have to plug it in to a computer so it says first step put the batteries in so let's do that I'm not sure I doubt if they ship them fully charged they might have some charge in them okay that's locked in this goes back oh I wonder if it needs to go flat Okay, let's do it this way. Twist it back this way. That looks like it'll seal it, but I'm not sure. Let's see. There we go. Ah, a little tight. I think this thing needs to stay probably on the edge, outside edge here. Okay, there you go. That's how you tuck your battery in there, everybody. Right. Let's leave that on its side in case I do something here and it shoots across my tabletop. I don't want that. Now the batteries for the controller. All included as you can see. One and two double A's. I bet you it might have a little spin in it. Okay, so we got that far. Okay, that's done. Okay, so we have a light here. That flashing light usually means there is no single signal to the vehicle. Vehicle. Okay, where is your on off? You've got to be somewhere. Let's look in the instructions. All right, let's see here. On off switch. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, it's on the left side, right here in the black area. Okay, so let's turn this back on and see if it wants to. Oh, so there is a little power in there.
Cool, so there's a green light here. You hear it running here, let me hold it up. So this inner wheel is spinning right now. And that must have some kind of... Okay, ooh, I left a burn mark on my top. All right, so that works. Let me uh, do a few more things here and then I will... Okay, why don't you want to turn off? Well, we'll just let it do its thing then. All right, so let's check out... Okay, cable that, decals... And, oh, so there's two options. Option one, option two for the ramp. Ah, so it can either go in, oh, it's stopping now, slowly stopping. It can either go in this area here, so you can have a lower ramp, or you can have a taller ramp. Let's go with the taller ramp. So they show these going in here, and then there's this little channel along here, which this would slip into. Okay, and then this is going to all connect, line these up, almost there, almost there, one, two, three, okay, there's the ramp, now let's see, for decal placement, Uh, they show a bunch on the ramp, actually. One right here on the bottom, the extreme. Decal 8. Right here. This looks like it needs to just move up. There you go, that's better. And then these all on the ramp going here. Now they don't give you any particular placement, so I'm going to put it in line with that. Let's see if that works out. I don't know. It's going to be close. Not going to be perfect because I'm not... You'd have to get a ruler really to make this perfect. And decal number two. Let's just put them all in line with these. I'll go halfway on this one. And then it looks like I pulled two off at the same time accidentally. Okay. Yeah, I, you probably have to find the center mark and then get them all perfect on there. But I am not going to today, I guess. And then there's a... A number one going down his inside. This way. Okay. And then a number five and six. Five. That's going to be hard to get to. It looks like it's in here. Like this. Okay, and then on top of that is number six. Let's see. They have it going this way here. Okay, and then number three under that. And probably going this way. Yes, that makes more sense. So it kind of ties in this whole section here. That one probably could have gone up just a little bit. And that is, oh, number seven. Number seven goes back here. Looks like this. Okay. And it says there's one more. Number two. Interesting. I noticed that this one was already on. And why wasn't there one here? So it looks like they want you to put the second one on. And it's a super thin one. It's going to be hard to get off this sheet. Let's see if I bend it. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's going to go this way. Right here. 
And my the other one looks like it's slightly ripped. I think it is. It's a little little longer. So let's just turn this in. I think there's a piece missing on that one because they're at the same distance there. All right. That is set. Let's turn it back on. Oh, and his little card looks like it's going to go in his back. And it looks like it's flashing now, almost like the quadcopters we've used before. Let's see, does it go that way? Or does it go that way? Hmm. Yeah, I think it goes this way. Okay, so you might have to get something to really push it in with. There we go, locked in. And then this cable. Looks like it goes this way. Okay, you gotta jiggle it just a little. All right, he's ready to plug in, so let me charge him up. Then we will come back, probably outside, and test it out. All right, almost ready to go outside. It's actually the next day. It is fully charged. I did test it. That's why this is flashing right now. When this lights up solid, it is fully charged. That switch needs to be the right because it was pouring rain, so that's why I had to wait. I did want to show you the camera feature now. So let me unplug this from my computer where it's charging. It charges to your computer, by the way. Turn this on. Now you see this is green. Okay, and then it will work. Watch, I'll just go forward. Oh, wait, turn the controller on. Okay, now you'll see. It's ready to go. Now to start the camera, you press this button here it's red and then back here it is flashing red now if I turn the camera off okay it's like the bluish color and now the camera's on so let's switch over to that camera here I'll pretend like I'm showing you and doing the video with the camera from the motorcycle alright so this is the USB I'm not sure exactly where I need to be in frame this is the USB adapter so you put the little card in here and then here is the ramp and then I might oh I did notice on the ramp here there's a place to hold it down which you'll probably need because it'll move you'll need to prop this up against something and that was the bottom after it was all together I'm not sure if I showed you and again so now I can turn this off by pressing this button and let's just pretend like he's whoosh, jumping whoosh. all right so there you go now it's time to head outside it's still muggy uh, sun's not out ground might be a little damp but uh, we'll head outside anyway all right made it outside and it's uh, definitely overcast so we'll get some shots out here a couple things now remember to have the disc in before you start recording of course it won't tell you that it's not there so double check that turn this on turn this on and then when you hit this this will turn the camera on so right now it's recording my garage door so what I'm gonna do is set up here come back and I'll just do like three jumps and we'll see how it does. All right, I'm getting ready and I found out, especially when making the jumps, it's really hard to line up if you're just driving, but if you start it and then let it go, it should do pretty good. Here we go. Whoa, let's do it again. Nice. All right, one last jump. Now, don't forget the actual camera on this. There's no recording of sound, so you're just going to get visual. Now, I set the ramp the other position, so there was two positions. I wanted to make sure I did that, so let's do it again. Perfect. All right, I have made it out to the street. Now, I did a couple practice runs, and the street is definitely not wide enough so you're gonna need a parking lot for this to really get the full effects so what I'm gonna do is just do a couple runs and then I'll wrap it back up inside in the video booth
them back in, I would say overall it worked pretty good. I think lining up to the ramp would be a challenge unless you're in a nice flat area. And then a couple other things. Don't forget to always turn the camera off. I mean on and then off after each recording. Because if you don't, you just power down the controller. That piece of video will not work. So just keep that in mind. And then when you make turns, just uh, you have to turn slowly. If you turn too fast, then it cuts in and falls over. You might have seen that in the video. But otherwise, I would say it's fun to play with. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, look at that description. I'll have a link to a playlist there. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.